Hey everyone, this is Ashish Goyal from Pediatrics Board Review and I am here today to show you an absolutely amazing tool. By the end of this video you should see how you can access 200 questions from the American Board of Pediatrics itself. Okay, So this is actually meant for people who are taking the maintenance of certification exam. Uh, in my mind, in speaking to uh, people who have taken the exam, uh, this is invaluable for anyone who is taking the maintenance of certification exam. Okay, So I think if you do well on this exam, you will do well on the maintenance of certification exam. I'm going to go ahead and log in to uh, the American Board of Pediatrics portfolio area and go over here to maintenance of certification. Okay, After you click that, you're going to see a section that says parts two and four activity search. And what you want to do is do a search for uh, an activity that allows you to basically show that you are trying to broaden your knowledge base. And you do that over here under part two. And that's going to go ahead and take you to this page. Over here on both of these little drop-down menus, I think it's going to be the first one on both, uh, both drop-downs. You click General Pediatrics for the specialty. And as far as the sponsor is concerned, it's the American Board of Pediatrics. You go ahead and click those, get out of there, and go ahead and search for approved activities. So this page is a little bit tricky because you do have to scroll down all the way to the bottom and it looks like it's just a static page but it's actually an interactive page and you can scroll all the way to the bottom and you want to find this right here 2013 general pediatrics knowledge self-assessment you click on that and it'll bring you to this page with all kinds of information but the most important piece is this button right here go ahead and launch the activity launching the activity will go ahead and bring up this page and then you can go ahead and click on start. Okay, before we do that, let's go ahead and review this page. So this is a knowledge and self-assessment area. It's going to have 200 multiple choice questions. Okay, there's no passing score, so it doesn't really matter how you do on this exam. You're still going to get credit for it under the MOC, and I believe this qualifies for continuing medical education credit as well. Uh, in terms of getting the answers, as soon as you go ahead and answer a question, it will go ahead and give you the feedback as to whether or not it's correct or not. Um, this particular self-assessment will be available through December of 2015. I'm guessing if you're watching this video uh, after 2015, if this particular exam is not available, I'm guessing they'll have a new one. And you have to complete the entire thing to get uh, MOC credit, and you will only get credit once every five years for doing it. Uh, but you can review it as often as you want. So don't feel bad if you go through it, you get some questions wrong, you want to go back and review it later on again, feel free. It's not like they're going to take the exam away from you. Okay, so the next thing you're going to do is click on Start, and that will go ahead and bring up this area. So I will go ahead and blur this area out in case there are any copyright infringement issues here. I don't want to get in trouble with the American Board of Pediatrics, but I will also show you the uh, the shell of this exam, kind of the user interface. And I'm going to go ahead and hit pause for my exam because I don't actually want the timer to run down. I'm not exactly sure what that means. But um, over here you can go ahead and see this is the first question. I have 199 unanswered questions. I don't have any questions that are being held and uh, there are no questions that have already been answered. By kicking over here there's a drop down menu and I should be able to access any question if I want to go ahead and skip. So let me show you that right here. See? You can go ahead and go to any question that you want. Um, and over here, once I move forward, I should be able to go to the next one, previous, things like that. When I'm ready, I can go ahead and select an answer. And when I select an answer, I can go ahead and decide to commit or I can hold. So if I want to go ahead and commit, I'm guessing it'll give me the answer. I'm not going to push that right now. If I wanted to hold it, I could do that. And then this would be a held question for me to come back to in the future. If I click on hold here, it'll show me this question right here again. And then I can go ahead and choose whichever answer I want. I'm going to go back over here to unanswered questions. Uh, something else is if, if this particular question is associated with a figure, you'll find that right here. As far as a table is concerned, you can click over here and you get a table of lab values. I'm guessing this is the exact same table that you're going to find on the actual exam. Click return to question to come back. And um, that's really about it. And once you are done with this part of the exam and, and you want to go ahead and pause it, click pause. If you want to exit, click exit, come back to it later. But the amazing thing about this is the fact that you have 200 questions that are being released by the American Board of Pediatrics. So those are my thoughts. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and that you uh, enjoy uh, using this particular resource to get an idea of how you're going to do on the MOC. If you have any questions, please let me know. Take care.